Hey guys, you're watching Bosscoin, and today is all about setting up the Ledger Blue. So I finally talked Crypto Chick into letting me have my Christmas present early. So, you know, fortunately she got me the Ledger Blue, and as you can see, you kept, you get it, shrink wrapped, kind of Apple style box set up. She's gonna yell at me because she's gonna say that she saw that first, but I disagree. I knew it was an Apple style setup. You know, nice, uh, nice box, honestly. So obviously we've got the ledger, little USB cable, and this super cool, uh, you know, pack and a uh, little welcome packet by USB. It's my initial impressions of the actual ledger. It's very nice. It fits like really nice in the hand. It's a nice, basically ergonomics. And uh, now I'm gonna pan you over and let's uh, start setting this bad boy up. So to start it, you're just gonna hold this button on the side until you see the ledger logo pop up. You're gonna come here and click configure as new device. I'm gonna need to choose a pin code. You know, you can make your pin code whatever you'd like to do. Next up, you're gonna have a 24 word recovery seed. So once I click continue, it's gonna show me 24 words. I'm gonna need to write those down and put them in, you know, a very safe area, safe space, you know, a fireproof box or something like that because if this is lost, stolen, destroyed, then I'm gonna need that recovery seed in order to restore all my coins that were stored on it. Okay, so a couple quick notes. You notice um, in that little packet in your box, you'll find these three pieces. There's no anti-tampering sticker on it because the device is supposed to check itself and make sure nothing malicious has happened. You're also gonna get a sheet right here to write your 24 word recovery phase down, which is nice. And also you're gonna wanna go to start.ledgerwallet.com and follow the instructions, which is what we're gonna be going over in this video today on how to set it up. Once you write down your recovery seed and click continue, it's gonna prompt you to put in a recovery word at a random position, or maybe it's always 15, I don't know. But we can just put our recovery word in right here. And then just click, you're gonna click that and you're gonna be good to go. So you're gonna enter that recovery word and then you're gonna be prompted to enter one more and then it's gonna say your device is ready. Get started to access your applications. Well, hell yeah. Here we are. I haven't even plugged it in yet. Um, to the actual, you know, USB of the computer. This is all being done through the actual uh, hardware wallet, which is pretty cool to see, and I think that's going to be the direction we go. The most exciting feature about the ledgers are the fact that you can add additional wallets to them. So you'll see, you go over here to uh, where well, you set up your uh, startledgerwallet.com, you click over to the ledger manager, install that, and I just went ahead and installed it into my Chrome browser, just the ledger manager and I clicked launch app and it brings me right here and you can see that I have all of these options for adding to the actual uh, Ledger Blue. So for example right here Komodo. I have Komodo. I like Komodo. I think they're going to do big things. Let's install Komodo. Allow Ledger app to manage your applications and device settings. Well we're going to have to do that. You can see the Ledger's processing and Basically, we're downloading and installing, and that was pretty fast. So let's click over to it. All right, guys, so a total buzzkill. I'm not going to be putting Neo on the Ledger Blue today because they haven't ported it to the Blue. It's only on the Ledger Nano S. That sucks. But let's talk about Komodo, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with that. So there's a very specific order for setting this up. You're going to want to launch the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and also altcoin app once you have that installed so I'm just gonna click this I'm gonna launch the app and once this is loaded I'm gonna plug my Ledger Blue in through the USB into the computer once that's plugged in I'm gonna click the Komodo app and I did this a couple of different ways and this is you know the only way it works properly every time so it'll sync for a second your first time but anyway so here's your Komodo obviously I want to receive Komodo and I'm just going to take that Komodo address and uh, get my Komodo in there so I went ahead and sent two Komodo over here the transaction fee I only ended up with 1.998 it's no big deal and you can see that my account's been credited with 1.998 Komodo which equates out to 523 in USD which is pretty cool that they give you the live readout like that it's nice to see you can see the date time my account the address it was sent to it's unconfirmed currently so if we click over to receive you can see that it's automatically generated us a new Komodo address so if you look we had CBX was our last three 
and now our last three are F, 1, P. So it's automatically scrambling our addresses and not leaving us with a static one. It doesn't give us an option to generate different ones, but every time you get a transaction, it's going to probably give you a new Komodo address. So that's cool and interesting to see. Very good for just maintaining your anonymous status with these cryptocurrencies, which is kind of what makes them crypto and not just a currency. So let's go ahead, take this address. It's our new receive address, and let's send a Komodo to ourself. We're just going to go ahead and send one Komodo. And we've got all these fees. Obviously, I don't care how fast it gets here, so I'm going to go and click slow. It's nice you can click this and you can scan a QR code. Click send. Verifying transaction. And then we're going to, have to confirm the transaction on our device. As you can see, we're sending one Komodo. There's the address, full readout, as well as what we're going to be paying in fees. So it's nice that we get to see this on the big bright screen, but I'm kind of disappointed that I can't access my wallet value from the actual device. Therefore, this is always going to have to be connected to a computer. And I thought that you'd have a little bit more basically just independent due to this having full functionality through the screen. But anyway, we'll go ahead and send that. Sending has succeeded. Sending succeeded. That's kind of hard to say. And close. We see minus and we see plus. And just like that, it's showing up in our account. And here we are with a new receive address. So while we're doing this on Komodo today, this would work the same exact functionality with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, as well as Litecoin and Zcash, basically all the ones that are similar in that degree. Um, a few things are a little bit different like Ethereum, but there's other videos on how to send those on the Ledger Blues. All right guys, so setting up the Ledger Blue is really that easy. I hope this video helped iron out any kinks or a few questions you may have. If you have some other questions I didn't cover or answer in the video, please comment below. Be glad to help you guys out. In addition, make sure to subscribe to the Vodcoin YouTube channel to find out why I actually don't recommend the Ledger Blue. That video is coming tomorrow. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.